two of the world's top mammoth experts arrive at the autopsy. Professor Dan Fisher from the University of Michigan. When we first saw the lips, the mouth, the neck, the, the general underside of the body, it was a magical experience. And Professor Alexei Tikhonov from the Zoological Institute, St. Petersburg. Такого мамонта еще не было такой сохранности. Это уникальная совершенно находка именно по сохранности тканей, по сохранности клеточных структур. With the mammoth on the slab under hot lights, the team has to work quickly. They only have three days to examine the body before it will have to be refrozen to prevent it from rotting. At the moment, everyone is in here trying to take their samples from the carcass whilst it's still frozen. Once the flesh is defrosted, the tissue may have degraded somewhat. So this is probably the best moment to sample things. Today we go barbecue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> from mama to mama to me. Pieces of the mammoth's flesh were carbon dated the previous summer. The analysis revealed that she walked the earth 40,000 years ago. Mammoths were perfectly adapted to extreme cold, thanks to millions of years of evolution. Their small ears, thick fur, four inches of body fat with an extra layer on the head, and even cold adapted blood all helped them thrive. They were still around when the Great Pyramids of Egypt were built four and a half thousand years ago. I think we all sense that we share a history with them. You can think back to the cave drawings in Europe where clearly the depiction of mammoths and their behavior was something that was deep, profoundly important.